Okay, so before the video starts, I just wanted to actually show what we're going to do here. Um, so I have all of these sprites. I have one ahead and three faces. Um, and I can feed them to this sprite merger. So I feed the head one and face one. And when I play this, they merge into one single sprite. So this is what we're going to do. All right, on to the video. So creating a sprite merger is actually quite simple. So first let's dive into the theory behind it. I have several images here that can be merged into making a head with um, different faces. Um, what our sprite merger is going to do is create an empty texture and fill it with transparency like this. Uh, and then you can, you can fill this with whatever you call you want though. And then we're going to want to grab our first sprite, which is the head in this case. And we're going to go through it pixel by pixel, drawing it on top of our empty texture. Then we're going to do this to every single sprite um, that we have until they're all just drawn on top of each other and then we're going to save the final result into a new sprite. Okay, so I've exported these sprites into my project. I have an empty project here just with the sprites that I've imported. Um, so to start, I'm going to create a, a new script called Sprite Merger. Okay, so let's jump right into the script and create an array of sprites that will hold the sprites that we want to merge. I will also create a new variable for a single sprite so we can visualize the final result. Uh, so now I'm going to create a new method called merge and it's going to take no parameters for now. The first thing we'll want to do is create our new texture. So let's say var new text equals new texture 2D. And we're going to make it 500 five by 500, which is the size of my images specifically. Uh, the texture doesn't specifically need to be the same size as your image, but it helps for them to blend nicely. Next up, we're going to fill it up with transparency, like I explained earlier. So let's create an SF for loop that will go through all the pixels. Okay. Uh, and then we set each individual pixel to be a new transparent color by using new texture dot set pixel the coordinates of x and y and then new color and then I'm gonna make this one 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 zero because I want the background to be transparent um, but you can do this with whatever color you want now I'm going to create a triple nested for loop that will go through all the pixels of all the sprites we want to merge okay so inside of our loop we have to make some math to determine which color we want to um, draw so if our current pixel is not transparent, then we're just going to draw it um, as usual. If it is transparent, then we're just going to draw whatever color is behind it um, so that we don't overwrite it with just a transparent pixel. Okay, so let's say far color, and, oh, not color, color, and let's check is our current sprite dot texture dot get pixel x and y is it alpha value equal to zero if it is zero then we want um, it to be new texture dot get pixel x and y so if our current um, pixel really is transparent then we want to draw whatever pixel is there already if not then we're just going to draw the sprites to merge i texture dot get pixel x and y so if it is transparent we draw what's there already and if it's not transparent we draw the new one then we just need to go to new texture dot set pixel x and y and with the new color okay there we go so finally we apply the result to our new texture and use it to create a new sprite which we then apply to our visualizer sprite Okay, so my bad there. So I need to create a sprite renderer instead of a sprite. And I call it final sprite renderer. And we're gonna set that sprite to be the final sprite. Okay, so once this is all done, we're gonna go to the top of our function and add resource dot unload, oh, not resource request, resources dot unload unused assets. Uh, this is very important because sprite.create does not do trash collection automatically and this function unload unused assets is going to do it for us uh, and this will prevent our project from crashing after you've used this function a bunch of times. Okay, so I'm just going to put this merge function 
into a start. Okay, so now back in our project, I'm just gonna set this up real quick so we can see the final result. Okay, so as you can see, I just created a new sprite, which is gonna be our final sprite, so we can drag that in there. And now I create a new object called the Sprite Merger with our script. Um, so Sprites to Merge, let's say that I want a head with the happy face. So now when I run this, there we go. Now we have our face in there. So let's imagine that I want the sad face. I'll just drag in the sad face in here. And there we go, we have a sad face. Um, now I can move this and it's just one single sprite and it's our new sprite as we they call it. Okay, so this is very useful if you're allowing your player to make their own character or logo and I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions.